This is a review for the Roborock S6 Pure. The S6 Pure's airflow was measured at 18 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.29 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the S6 Pure picked up all debris types very well. This robot's direct cleaning path is only an average width as its brushwood compartment is only 6.5 inches wide. However, the robot itself is quite large, with a diameter of 13.5 inches, and it has an oversized side brush on one side, which very effectively pulls the debris from the perimeter of the robot into its direct cleaning path, making its overall cleaning path quite wide. The S6 Pure also used repeated movement over the same areas in the same cleaning cycle to get a proper cleaning in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the S6 Pure picked up 6 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the S6 Pure once again picked up all debris types very well. Again, it makes use of its side brush to extend the width of its overall cleaning path on a single pass, but also relies on multiple passes over the same areas to get a proper cleaning in this test over time. The S6 Pure did not perform very well cleaning edges. It doesn't get close enough to edges as it passes by them to clean them effectively. This was a common issue among several of the Roborock LiDAR robot vacuums we tested. Both the S4 Max and S5 Max also did not get close enough to edges to clean them effectively. The S6 Max V did get close enough. Notice how its ability to get closer to the edge than the S6 Pure allows it to clean the edge much better. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the S6 Pure did not perform well on default power or on maximum power. Even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test on either power setting. In our human hair pickup test, the S6 Pure picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. In our pet hair pickup test, the S6 Pure picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The S6 Pure also comes with a mopping attachment. The mopping attachment is comprised of a reservoir that drips onto an attached mopping pad, and the reservoir starts dripping water onto the pad as soon as you fill it and attach it to the robot. There is no electronic control of the reservoir dripping water onto the pad like there is with many other Roborock robot vacuums like the S5 Max, for example. This may be a very basic design, but it doesn't hurt the robot's mopping performance, at least not according to our testing. The S6 Pure performed quite well in our mopping test, cleaning the test surface in under two minutes in a single cleaning cycle. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we see the S6 Pure's very precise cleaning pattern demonstrated very well. Note though how the S6 Pure only moves in vertical rows in this first test and only moves in horizontal rows in the second test. It alternates between vertical and horizontal movement in consecutive cleaning cycles, as this improves its chances of it being able to pick up especially stubborn debris. We would have preferred to see it alternate between vertical and horizontal movement in a single cleaning cycle to improve its chances of it being able to pick up stubborn debris in a single cleaning cycle. This is a bit of a nitpick though. This robot still gets good redundant coverage in this test. In our clutter room testing, we again see the same row by row cleaning pattern in the few open areas of the room, but we also see how well the robot navigates around different types of obstacles placed around the room. Here, the S6 Pure excels. Its lighter navigation allows it to move around all of the obstacles in the room with an extremely high degree of precision and efficiency. It's particularly impressive how well it moves around the chair frame used for this test. Many other robot vacuums we tested struggled moving around the chair legs, bumping into them, and moving the chair in the process. Many also struggled getting proper coverage underneath the whole area underneath the chair and around its legs. The S6 Pure didn't have these same struggles. It very easily moved around the chair and got great coverage underneath the chair and across the whole room. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Roborock Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, 
or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the SXPR's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the S6PR one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The S6PR picks up most types of debris on most types of surfaces very well. It also mops hard surfaces very well. It gets excellent coverage and navigates with a high degree of precision and efficiency around a wide variety of different obstacle types. It also has great battery life and runs fairly quietly. Moving on to what we dislike about the S6 Pure, it doesn't clean very well along the edges of rooms. The robot's dustbin is also small, and the robot itself is big, which may keep it from fitting in between or underneath certain pieces of furniture in your home. In terms of general recommendations, the SX Pure does do a lot of things very well. It's also usually priced very well for what it does. But for us, its edge performance is a deal breaker. And it's because of its poor edge performance that we generally do not recommend it. See the description of this video for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we do recommend. And thank you for watching.